Roswell, New Mexico is a city in the southeast portion of the state known for its extraterrestrial history. While the city has been around for over 150 years, it's mainly known for its part in the alleged UFO incident of 1947. I'll leave links in the description where you can read more about this incident, but regardless the city has now embraced the extraterrestrial history and become a fun spot for believers and skeptics alike. My dad and I spent a day exploring the city's best alien related spots and here are 6 things to do in Roswell, New Mexico. First off, visit the welcome signs. No trip to Roswell is complete without stopping for a photo with one of the welcome signs. There are signs on both the north and south entrances to town on Highway 285. The one on the north part of town is the one that you most often see in photos, but the one in the south part of town has both a sign and a set of cutout characters a little further down. The characters depict an alien spacecraft that landed and is being welcomed by the locals, including getting a jump start and receiving a pie. It's silly, but it's a fun way to enter the town. My second recommendation is the International UFO Museum and Research Center. The International UFO Museum is located right in the heart of Roswell and is the main location that tourists visit in the city. The center took over an old movie theater and filled it with information on the Roswell incident and many other UFO encounters around the United States. There are also many exhibits on aliens in movies and pop culture and there's a large exhibit in the middle that has smoke and lights every 30 minutes. It's a fun spot to explore extraterrestrial history in Roswell. My next recommendation is the UFO Spacewalk. This is easily my favorite spot in Roswell and it's a must visit. The attraction was created by a local artist who wanted to make a fun walk through black light exhibit. My dad and I had a blast here as the exhibit is trippy with all sorts of aliens peeking around corners enhanced by the black light. Plus they let us pick a blaster to take with us to protect ourselves from the aliens. It's silly fun for the whole family and the people who are running it were really awesome. Next up is Alien Zone. Only a block from the UFO spacewalk, Alien Zone is another fun interactive alien exhibit. The storefront has a large back area with dozens of photo zones where you can insert yourself into scenes with aliens. Everything from sitting on a couch, riding a motorcycle, visiting a bar, and hosting a barbecue were all able to be interacted with. Again, it's another really silly spot, but you get some great photos from your time in Roswell here. Plus, they have a store if you want to pick some stuff up as well. My next recommendation is the UFO McDonald's. It's not often that you see the exterior of a McDonald's done in a different style like this. However, in Roswell, the McDonald's embraces the city's history and is a UFO itself. This McDonald's is metallic from the outside and full of space and alien related exhibits on the inside. It's a blast for the whole family as the play area is in the UFO portion and you can see Ronald and his friends in their outer space attire. Plus there's a large mural next door with outer space and McDonald's characters as well. My last recommendation is just exploring more of the city. While these are the main attractions that I highlighted, there are still lots of fun smaller attractions around the city to see as well. Some of these include the alien that's holding up the Dunkin Donuts sign, the alien that's guarding out front of the Domino's, and the alien streetlights around the city's downtown area. Plus there are shops all around downtown where you can buy alien related merchandise. My favorite thing was the aliens that were carved out of wood and I bought one to take home with me. Don't forget to stop by the visitor center as well as there's lots more alien things to do there and they even had an area where they could take your photo. As you can no doubt tell this is a pretty fun spot for a half day of exploring. My dad and I had a blast and be sure to visit if you're in the area. Let me know if I left something off in the comments and we'll see you on the next video.